Hi guys, welcome back to another unboxing video. I know it's only been two days since I did the September one, um, but that one were a bit late. The microphone still sounds awful because I heard it on the last unboxing video, but that's because the microphone's busted on this phone. Um, I'm not going to be getting a vlogging camera until at least Christmas time, so um, November's and December's will probably be the same. Um, the theme for this one is mythical, so it's going to have stuff from... Um, what did it say? Ghostbusters, Marvel, Stranger Things, and Buffy the Vampire Slayer. Um, so yeah, let's crack this baby open. So this is it guys. Also, boom. Oh yeah. Two more days and that baby is mad. Right, so. Let's just get this open. So we want to move the t-shirt. First of all, we're not looking at that yet. I'm guessing this is going to turn into something cool since it's a different shaped box this month as well. Right, so first up we have this. Thor versus Loki. So this is like the Queen Takes Bishop thing. So they must have, um, Lucrate must have done a deal with somebody else other than Qfig, unless these are Qfigs. I don't think they are. Oh, fat mojo. So they must, whatever deal they had with the Qfigs, it must have ended and now they're doing this, fat mojo figures. Never heard of them before, but. Um, this is probably one that you're going to have to build again. So yeah, guys, it looks like um, we're going to have to build this. So I'm just going to build that now and then show it to you. And this is it, guys. Ta-da! Pretty cool. Yeah, I had a few nasty comments um, after the September unboxing. Saying like... Um, you're not very good at unboxings, blah, 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 blah. Um, you're a bit late for party, dude, because I've already stated in, like, nearly every single unboxing video that I've done that I'm not the best unboxer and that if you want a perfect unboxing, then um, you're better off going looking elsewhere on YouTube. So, yeah, get with the program, guy. In fact, it's pretty sweet. The last one, the Queen Takes Bishop one, that were a bit fiddly to put together and Bishop were barely balancing on the end of the queen's tail so it felt a bit flimsy like if you knock it it'd fall off this one feels a lot more sturdier and it clipped together a lot better so i think it's because it's chunkier as well but the connectors seem different too so yeah this one's a lot sturdier i can't see this one getting knocked and falling to pieces that's pretty awesome next up we have the pin oh wow that's pretty cool mythical so with Halloween coming up, obviously, Dracula, pretty cool. Um, yeah, thanks to Craigie Boy Wallace as well for the comment on the last unboxing video about what to do with these. Um, basically, he said to leave them on the cardboard and then attach them to a board and frame them and put them on the wall. So. Um, rather than taking the pin off of this cardboard backing and then mounting them on a um, foam pad, kind of leave the cardboard on them as well and pin that to it also, because then it says the uh, month and the theme. So yeah, thanks for that, bro. Appreciate that. Next up, we have... Oh, wow. What's this? Boosh. Stranger Things. Oh, wow. Eleven versus Demogorgon. Oh my god. Is this a figure? Or what? Ooh. Artist series. Jay Salvador has been pulling on heartstrings with his Supremo Friends line of art since 2009. Luke Crate has partnered with Salvador to create exclusive figural renditions of his drawings and paintings. For the very first Supremo scenes in this emotionally intense moment from Stranger Things, Eleven uses her immense telekinetic powers against Demogorgon in order to keep her friends safe while also saying goodbye. Hmm. Spoiler alert! <laughs> oh man, I can't wait for a second season to start. Um, I think it's 
think we've only got like four days to wait. Yeah, Friday, I think it comes out. Oh my God, I can't wait. It's going to be amazing. And uh, also I heard that all episodes are coming out on the same day. So I'm just going to binge watch those and I don't even know what to do because I've got Assassin's Creed coming as well. And I really love Assassin's Creed, so I just don't know what to do. It's going to be a good weekend. Very good weekend. Got Leeds United on Sky. Um, for those of you not in England, that's um, just cable TV basically. But my soccer team, Leeds United, they're playing on TV on Friday. And then also on Friday, uh, Assassin's Creed and Stranger Things. So yeah, it's going to be amazing. So this is what was in the box that I pulled out. So this is obviously going to be some kind of figure so i'll build that now to show you oh my god guys it is amazing look at this boosh oh my god this has got to be one of the best loot crates i have ever gotten oh wow that that is just amazing this is actually making me even more excited on friday i cannot wait that is amazing Anybody who says that's not cool, well, I've got no words for you. <laughs> that is amazing. I'm well impressed with that. So next we have... Ta-da! Ooh, what's this? Mr. Pointy Bookmark. Well. So, um, yeah, it appears to be just that, a bookmark. Pretty cool. Have a look. Just take it off the cardboard back in. Yep, it's just a Buffy the Vampire Slayer bookmark. Pretty cool. Pretty cool. Right, so before we get the booklet out, which will obviously spoil the t-shirt, we better do the t-shirt first. Oh my god. This is the best loot crate I've ever got. Literally, when people ask me what my favourite colour is, I always tell them neon. Like any neon, but mostly purple, pink and blue. Look at this. Ta -da. Oh my god. That is shamazing. This this honestly is the best loot crate I've ever opened. This is amazing, I love it so much. Oh my god. I love it. Love it. Absolutely love it. Right, so finally, we've got the book locked. Mythical. Right, so mythical. What have we got? Uh, there are things in this world beyond what science has explained. You hear the stories, the whispers of creatures and beings beyond imagination. Join us as we peer into the shadows across the plains and explore the mythical world with items from Marvel, Ghostbusters, Stranger Things and Buffy the Vampire Slayer. Awesome. So that's the t-shirt. Oh, so it was designed by Luke Crate, licensed by Sony. Awesome. Um, beware the upside down. Research has uncovered an alternate dimension. A plane like ours, but cruelly different. A dangerous creature lives here, demonic and powerful predator. Very few have faced this monster and lived to tell. We look at an encounter between Eleven and the Demogorgon through the lens of Supremo Friends artist J. Salvador with a new Diorama figure series based on his art, Supremo Scenes. So I'm guessing they're going to have, uh, he said they've teamed up with him to bring his artwork into like a 3D diorama. So I think we're going to see a lot more of these. Um, so yep, this is Thor versus Asgard. Um, why don't, Thor versus Asgard? Uh, Thor versus Loki, sorry. Ah. Their rivalry is legendary and represented in this, the second figure in our Fat Mojo line. So they have got a new, uh, new line of figures. That's the uh, bookmark. And this is the box. So normally the box turns into something and this month it turns into Thor's hammer. So I will build that when I've stopped recording this and um, I'll put it on screen now so you can see what it looks like when it's finished. That's pretty cool. 
I normally build um, build the box stuff and then give them to Oscar to play with, my three year old boy. Um, he loved the Transformers truck one. Um, oh yeah, and then he played with a shield with his Nerf guns. And then what did the last one turn into? Um, what did the last one turn into? Oh, the cereal box, yeah. He's not really played with that. Um, what's this? Lootware. That's your geek apparel that gets delivered in, instead of this one. So if you just want clothing, um, it'll probably be stuff like um, badges, bracelets, um, shoelaces, because I've had Marvel laces before, so there's actually pictures there, look, so it'll be like boxers, boxer briefs, shirts, socks, t-shirts, vests, um, all stuff like that. So if you're just into the... Uh, Apparel, you can, um, is it apparel or apparel? I don't know. I don't know if I'm saying it right, but who cares? Um, digital comics. What's this one? Alright, so that's, uh, Marvel crate. It's pretty cool. These are the pictures what people sent him. I love that glass, it's amazing. <laughs> They're all wearing all the different Loot Crate t-shirts. That's pretty cool. I am so gutted, right? Um, I unsubscribed from Loot Crate because it was getting a bit too much paying for it every month. And then when I subscribed again so I could do it for, the, for my uh, YouTube channel, I just missed that t-shirt with Eleven, with a Demogorgon in the background. I was so gutted when I saw it because I really wanted that t-shirt. Um, obviously the glass again. And Ice King. And uh, what's this? Oh, that's where you can win the Mega Crate. That's loot anime. If you're just into anime stuff, you can get a crate just for anime. Um, this one... Why are my hands shaking so much? Wait, two seconds. Bloody hell. Right, so this one's, uh, I don't even know how you say it. Oh, Sanrio. Sanrio? I don't know. So it includes apparel, accessories, uh, Hello Kitty. Right, so it's just all Hello Kitty stuff, basically. Then it should say, we love you. Yep, as always. And I think, oh, actually, no. I was going to say, I think it might be the lake off Stranger Things, maybe. What's on the front again? Hmm, yeah, it could be, actually. They have that quarry with the lake. Could be that. But yeah, that's it, guys. Pretty sweet stuff. Yeah, I've got to say, this is probably the best crate I've ever had. I know I keep saying it, but it really, really is. I mean, two cool figures, a t-shirt that I absolutely love, and in my favourite colours as well. Um, yeah, I love it so much. That t-shirt is probably one of the best I've ever had as well. So thanks for watching, guys. Don't forget, if you enjoyed this video, please leave a thumbs up. Um, I've had a few trolls recently who've been leaving thumbs down. Um, just basically to be trolls. Uh, like, six, six thumbs down. Six thumbs down on uh, every single one of my videos in less than ten minutes. Come on. Really? So, yeah, that's the reason you can't see the ratings. I've just hit them because uh, just people playing childish games, basically. But, yeah, if you like these videos, um, please leave a like. Um, subscribe if you've not already. Plenty more unboxings to come. I've got some special stuff coming for Halloween. I might also do something special for Christmas. Uh, some kind of Christmas giveaway, maybe. Um, but, yeah, if you're not already subscribed, please do that. I'd appreciate it. Um, tomorrow, I'm going to be doing part two on destiny two and then probably part three of heavy rain the day after that i'm going to be taking some time off this weekend for assassin's creed because I'm, I'm just dying to play that obviously like i said stranger things is back on as well um and i'll be watching Leeds united on friday night what else yeah the next theme is unite 2.0 so it's gonna have stuff from dc overwatch power rangers and something called Voltron Legendary Defender. I've never heard of it. I don't know what it is. If you know what it is, leave it in comments. I think it's some kind of anime, a bit like Transformers. Um, 
But yeah, that sounds pretty cool. But yeah, I don't think it'll be a Power Rangers t-shirt because I think they've already done one of those. So I think the t-shirt might be the Voltron thing. Or what else did I say? Overwatch. I reckon Overwatch will be a figure of some kind. Um, maybe the DC could be a t-shirt. But I don't know, we'll see. Um, in a couple of weeks, I guess. So thanks for watching, guys. Thanks for all your amazing support. And I'll see you in my next video. See you there.